Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to my redstone tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you how to build the second part of my equivalent exchange name mods. In the first part, I did mention, say I did say that there was going to be two parts, but it turns out there's actually going to be three because I missed out a possibility and that was say if I threw in multiple items, I want to get multiple items back. So that's going to be the third part of this, but in this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you how to build this um, this part of the build, which is if I throw in these 25 sticks, it's going to give me one item back. So we'll just wait for that. It's actually going into this hopper down here. Just wait for it to go. It's almost done. It takes a little. It takes a little second. It's not extremely fast because it's not. Um, I'm not able to do it any faster. And then you'll see that I got one stone pickaxe for those 25 sticks. Now I'm going to show you how to build that. So what you are going to need is two sticky pistons, two normal pistons, 20 pieces of redstone dust, six redstone torches, four redstone repeaters, one redstone comparator, two hoppers, one dropper, one chest, and 64 block of your choice. Now the first thing you have to do is build an item detection. Um, so this is quite simple, and we're actually going to make this flush with the other machine. So if you're going to make it look cool on your server so you can have it in a more compact area, this is what you should do. So go to your initial chest from the first part and go four across, so one, two, three, four. Place your chest, place two hoppers on top. And at the back here, what you want to do is get your block of choice, go two out, place a redstone comparator on this first block facing away and I pick uh, one piece of redstone on that block place a block um, behind that redstone a, another piece of redstone on top and then a block behind that redstone there now on this side of this last block up here place a torch on the right side and this is going to be connected to something that we're going to be having over here so let's build that now now on this bottom block here where the redstone is on, we want to go four to the right, so one, two, three, four. On this end block, go two to the back, so one, two, leave space, do another two. In between these last two blocks, just place a block like that. So what we're going to be building here is a quick pulse set, and I explained this in the last um, part, but I guess I'm going to explain it again just in case you came here for the first time and haven't seen this part yet. Um, the link or there will be an annotation at the end of this video or the link will be in the description so make sure you check out that one before you start building this if you're up to here already um, but anyway what this does is it gets a constant signal and it will send out a pulse so if I hit a lever um, lever when you flick it on it will just keep the redstone constant but if you had this quick pulser you have a constant but it will send out a quick pulse which is good for setting off a piston T flip flop which we are actually going to build so you want to place two redstone here coming to the uh, corner of the square. Place a redstone repeater facing that way, one tick. And then a redstone repeater facing that way on a two tick delay. Place a block behind it, redstone torch on the right side of it, and a sticky piston facing to the front with a block in f behind that repeater there. Now we need to create a second one, so just create a square on top of that. copy exactly the same so we have a block here, redstone torch there, sticky piston facing to the front, block there and then repeater going to that block on a two tick and one going into that block on a one tick um, delay by default. Now we need something to connect to here because that one's connecting to there but we need this torch here to connect to there so we want to place a block on top of that torch, a block in front of the block there where the redstone repeater is on and then one there and then just fill these two, um, these three blocks here um, with the redstone. Now what we need to do is actually um, stop this from joining, so you just simply put a block on top of that and it won't join and the signal should stay on because of this torch um, being powered there. Now uh, the last thing that we've got to build is a piston T flip-flop and um, I did <laughs> I explained this in the last episode again but uh, what this does is, say if you send a signal pulse to it, it will flick around the out. It will change the output around to on. If you send us another signal to it, it will turn it off. Just vice versa. So I'll show you how to build that. Place a block in front of there, and then one on the right of it. 
place a block in front of that one, put redstone on it, then place a block in front of it like that, place one to the left of it, two pieces of redstone on top, redstone torches on the ends, place a block under this block here, place a piston under this torch here facing to the back of the machine, then one under this torch here facing to the front, then get two redstone and place it on these two blocks here. Now we need to connect the output of it. So to make the output for initially is you want to dig this block out under this piston head here, place a redstone torch, and then place redstone here. And now we actually need to stop it so this doesn't um, connect up. So we need to place a block right there. And it shouldn't, it will just go to a single piece of redstone. Now all we need to do now is connect this hopper here up to that piece of redstone, so just place a block right of the chest, then place redstone coming along until you connect up to that redstone there. Now we actually need to flick this around so it's um, connect, oh, so this is actually getting outputted initially um, because if you didn't this machine won't work properly so you can actually uh, we'll, um, just place a, a block there and then destroy it. <laughs> this is probably not the best way to do it but I can't think of any other way to do it quicker. So there we go now it's flicked around and then you'll see that the redstone is on now. Now the, well, this is really the last thing that we got to add and this is actually connecting the dropper up which is going to give the items to you. Now uh, quite simple we want to place or we want to do a we want to place a square around the hop here just to make it easier. Place a square on here and it should be in the same type of position as that chest over there. So we can um, place the dropper in the hole there facing to us. Go behind the machine, place a block here. So that's actually that block there is connecting to the wall. And then place a block on top of this corner redstone here so it doesn't um, connect up. Which if it did it wouldn't actually power the hopper there because it wants to turn down to there. Now this should all be done, now we've actually got to configure it, so let's go down to the bottom here. Um, if you're having any trouble following along, just make sure you pause the video because I would find that very um, helpful and it, when I look at tutorials I usually do that, so just pause it if you're going, getting, having some trouble and just um, re-watch it. Now just open this bottom hopper up here and I want to detect iron ore, I'm going to do something a little bit more realistic what you would have on a server. So. If I put in 25 iron ore, it's going to give me one diamond. So you want to put 17 of the items you want to detect or block. Now you can't have water bottles or anything like that. It can only be stuff that stacks up to 64. So um, no bottles or something like that, or water bottles to be more exact. Now in these remaining four slots, um, you want to place um, command blocks. And I did explain this in the last part, but Really what this does is it stops some um, people from um, like hacking the machine, um, bypassing the actual item you want to detect and because I put command blocks in there, um, they can only be accessed by the command which if you're on a server, a regular player won't have access to that so they can't um, easily bypass the machine. So that's why you put the command blocks in. Now in the first slot as I said just put 17 of the item you want to detect and I should have 25 remaining because I calculated it properly. I did learn year one maths. <laughs> now all we've got to do is place our items that we want to give the player when they put in our 24 items or blocks. So we're going to place this 25 iron ore into that hopper there. And we'll just wait for it. It's actually going into this hopper here. It's going to reach 42. It's going to send a signal out to these repeaters which is going to send a pulse to this piston T flip flop and you'll see that it's turned off. It's draining them right now and when it gets to 18 it will stop and it will stop at 17 there um, just because that's the timing. But then that equals to 25 items um, and they're the blocks that we actually put in so you've got 25 there and you'll see that a, uh, the dropper gave me a diamond there. So here's another example of this machine with some different items and this is more something you might use in a server. So 
um, 25 sticks here, I'm going to put them in and it's going to go through the same process, it's going to go up to 42 sticks in here it's going to send out a pulse to the piston T flip-flop which turns it off and starts draining them and then it's going to flip back on which is then going to give me the output which is one stone pickaxe so you might be asking what's the difference between this one and that one and the difference is that these are like vice versa so if I put one diamond in this hopper it's going to give me 25 iron if I put 25 iron in this hopper it's going to give me one diamond so yeah vice versa so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today and I hope you found it useful too. If you did, remember to leave a like because it really does help me out. If you want to see more of these, remember to subscribe because I am um, planning to do more tutorials regularly. I did have a little stop but I'm actually getting back into them now because I do enjoy making them. Um, there is going to be one more part so don't miss out on that. Um, so subscribe if you want to not miss out on it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.